today we're going to look at the brand new Alienware Aurora R16. It's the latest addition to Alienware's lineup and it promises a compact build, high performance and quiet operation in a new design. Alienware completely redesigned the R16 with an emphasis on thermal performance and easier compatibility with aftermarket parts. So I've been living with the Alienware Aurora R16 for a month now, working and gaming on it as my primary machine, and I'm here to tell you whether it's worth your money. A big shout out to Alienware Australia for sending out this machine for review. The new Aurora R16 is available in Australia right now with prices starting around the $2,700 mark, which is about $1,200 US dollars. You can of course configure the Aurora 16 to your heart's content, and you can go all the way up to the latest 14th generation i9 Intel processor, as well as an RTX 4090. Depending on the spec you choose, prices will vary a lot, but you can always count on Dell's usual discounts to save some money in the process. The Aurora is only available via Dell.com, wherever you might be, and shipping times will vary. Now, onto the design. Alienware has completely redesigned the Aurora R16. It doesn't look anything like its predecessors, which had a particularly alien look, starting with the R13 a couple of years ago with that white shell, and then they introduced the tempered glass side panel. And this year, Alienware has gone for a much more mundane and safe design, so much so that there is nothing really special about the design of this one, and it looks like any other RGB case that you could have bought online. The Aurora R16 is a standard mid tower and it measures, let me get these right, 16.5 by 7.8 and 18 inches. It has a new matte black plastic chassis with rounded corners and a clear side glass panel with a honeycomb vents design. Despite being made of plastic, the Aurora 16 doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. And in fact, it's really rather heavy, coming in at just over 15 kilos. Alienware says the R16 is 30% smaller than the R15 that it replaces. And if I compare it to my personal rig, which is built in a meshlicious sub-D case, which is a small form factor case, the R16 is at least still twice as big. That said, it is definitely much smaller than the R15 that it replaces, and that makes it easier to fit into most setups, as well as putting it in your living room next to your TV without it looking out of place. As a result of the changes, Alienware says the new R16 will be a lot easier to upgrade with aftermarket components. However, if you look inside, they're still using a proprietary Alienware motherboard and a proprietary power supply, so that might prove to be a challenge when trying to put in other components. What's more is you can't even swap the motherboard out, which is a shame because it's kind of a bare bones motherboard. It doesn't even have heat sinks. Some of the components on the inside are kind of cheap. The RAM doesn't have any RGB. The SSD doesn't have a heat sink. So if you are buying this with the intention of upgrading and changing components in the future, you might want to think about that. But with all that said, it's clear that it was designed to be shown off. Just look at the black case that is contrasted with the signature Alienware RGB ring on the side and the glowing alien head logo that's also the power button. Now, of course, all these lights can be customized using the new Alienware command center, which has become much more streamlined and intuitive to use. But to be honest, is not something I used much in my time because I didn't really find that much use for it. If you look carefully at the case, you will notice a gap in the front panel. This is actually a cleverly designed air intake for the Aurora. Air comes in through the sides on the gap and into a massive air intake. Furthermore, you get more cool air coming through the honeycomb vents on the side glass panel. The hot air is exhausted out the back of the case by a 120 mil fan, but there's also a 240 mil radiator at the top, which is connected to the liquid cooler on this particular model that helps really cool things down. Of course, the side panel is removable. Alienware has what it calls a toolless system to access, which is kind of a misnomer because there's still a single Phillips head screw that you need to loosen before you can pull back the mechanism which releases the glass panel. I think this is a little over-engineered. I don't know why Alienware couldn't have just used magnets or some latch system, but it is what it is. 
Another thing I like about the new case is the wealth of ports. On the front, you've got at least three USB type A ports and one USB type C port. All these are USB 3.2, so the speeds are pretty fast. Then at the back, you get six more USB A with two more USB type C, as well as an ethernet port and audio surround output. Then depending on which GPU you choose in your configuration, you will also get three display ports and an HDMI 2.1. So as far as connecting things to your PC is concerned, the Alienware really covers it all very well. Now, on to performance, because that's what you really came to find out. My review unit of the Aurora R16 comes with a 13th gen Intel i9-13900F. It's paired with 32 gigs of DDR5 5600MTS RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080, a 512 gig SSD, and a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard disk drive. Yes, that's right. It does come with an old school hard drive for storage, but you can configure it to come with an extra SSD or a SATA drive. That i9 processor is liquid cooled and we have a 1000 watt power supply to the whole machine. So you'll never worry about power draw from the RTX 4080 or the CPU. As you can imagine, these specs make the R16 a beast at gaming. You can run literally any game at 4K ultra settings, ray traced on, and still get hundreds of FPS. Now, for a bit of objective testing, I use some standard benchmarks, including 3D Mark, Time Spy Extreme, Port Royale, Cinebench R23, Geekbench, and a couple of others to get a baseline. I put all the results up on the screen for you to see, and as you can see, the Aurora has no problem smashing through whatever you throw at it. When it comes to games, no doubt the RTX 4080 is incredibly impressive and smashes through everything, even Cyberpunk 2077 with monstrous ray tracing settings, I'm still able to get 100 frames per second at 4K. As Alienware promised, the Aurora runs really cool and quiet. I was seeing temperatures on the GPU around the mid 60s and the CPU never went above the mid 70s. But most impressively is how quiet the Aurora R16 runs under load. In fact, it runs so quietly that if it wasn't for the RGB, I would think the machine wasn't even on. Alienware says the Aurora R16 is 20% quieter than the R15, and I can tell you for a fact, the R15 was obnoxiously loud. So it's very, very impressive what Alienware has done with this new machine. I think everyone will be really, really happy with how quiet it runs. Okay, so after all that, what is my conclusion? I initially had my doubts about the R16. The redesign felt really dull and boring and quite uninspiring compared to the rest of Alienware's lineup. And while my opinion hasn't really changed about the design of this machine, I seriously cannot fault it in terms of performance. This is without a doubt the best desktop gaming PC Alienware has ever made. In the month that I've used it, there has never been a moment of hesitation, stutter, lag, crashing. Everything has just been buttery smooth, responsive, and fast. On top of that, it does all of that extremely quietly and running really cool. It's truly impressive. It isn't perfect though, and that's for two main reasons. First is, at this price, Alienware should really give us much better and premium components on the inside. The fact that we get a motherboard in 2024 with no heat sinks or heat spreaders on the RAM, no RGB RAM, we're still getting a clunky 7200 RPM hard disk drive. That's just not acceptable, especially for the prices that Alienware is asking for. And that leads me to the second thing, which is the price. Now we all know about the brand tax and Alienware is no exception. At well over $5,000 for this particular model that I have, Alienware is clearly 20 to 30% more expensive than other brands and aftermarket builders. I did a quick check on Aftershock PC, the same guys who built my personal rig, and I was able to spec out a machine similar to the Aurora R16 for at least $1,000 less. That's a huge chunk of change. In addition to that, Dell is only giving one year of service warranty, which is 
not a lot in this kind of investment. Aftershock gives three years of warranty. So really, Dell should do a lot better. But in saying all that, if you really, really are invested in the Alienware brand and ecosystem, you will not go wrong with the new Aurora R16. It's a fantastic machine, very well built, extremely good performance. And there are oftentimes massive discounts happening on the Dell website, even up to 30%, where you could get this much cheaper than its recommended retail. Okay, so that's it for this quick review of the new Alienware Aurora R16. If you enjoyed it or have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll answer that. You can also check out this next video that will pop up in the cards here that YouTube thinks might be of interest to you. And if you want to see more concise reviews, unboxings and insights in the tech space, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.